Let's look at 2-2 two -two writing equations. Today we're just going to do a quick review over writing expressions and equations to get ourselves uh, back in the habit of writing them and uh, then solving them. So let's take a look at the top part. In the beginning of the year, I handed you a handout to put in the resource section of your binder that showed you some words that meant addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and equals. And you can look back at that as well, but let's just review and put some of those words here. So remember when you're looking for addition, um, you might see words like sum, plus, more than, greater, Total, all together, increase or increased. You might see words like that, which would mean addition. For subtraction, the word difference, which means the solution to a subtraction problem, minus, less than, decrease. fewer or fewer than, and sometimes even distance between. For multiplications, you might see the word product, which is the solution to a multiplication problem, times, per, or of, and that's the one we've talked about quite a bit this year. For division, Quotient is the solution to a division problem. Out of, divided or divided by, divided into, and the word rate. And remember for equals, the word is means equals, the same as means equals, and obviously you might see the word equal or equal to. Also, don't forget our turnaround words. The word than means that we're going to turn around the expression so that the one that we, we always generally read from left to right, but when we see the turnaround words, we're going to switch it from right to left. So the word than, you might see it with more than, less than, fewer than, and there may be others, so you will see those um, quite a bit. Also, the word divided into is one that we haven't discussed, but if you see the word divided, the words divided into, that is also going to be a turnaround word. So let's review writing expressions. This is going to take us back to the beginning of the year where we said two more than a product of a number and ten. Well, we can just make some notes over here. We know what two is. We know that more than means to add. We also know that that is one of our turnaround words, so it's going to change us around. A product of a number and 10. Okay, so the product of a number and 10 means that we're gonna take a number, we don't know what it is, so it's going to be x, and we're gonna multiply it by 10. And the general way we write it is 10x. We wouldn't put the x first, we would put the 10 before the x. So remember the turnaround words, we're going to write 10x plus 2. Let's look at the next one, 1 half of the sum of a number and 6. So this is something that we're going to really start talking about is when you see the sum of, first of all we know that it means add, we also know that this is going to give us some parentheses here. So we have 1 half outside here the sum of a number, which we don't know what it is, and six. <clears throat> and if you remember, that kind of looks like our distributive property from the beginning of the year, which we will also be reviewing soon. The next one says for less than, now remember less than is one of our turnaround words, but it also means to subtract. The quotient, remember, is the solution to a division problem, so we know we're going to divide a number by 12. So we could call this x. So turnaround words, so x divided by 12. Remember that we are using the algebraic form of division instead of the division symbol. x divided by 12 minus 4. 
let's take a look at the next one. Seven times the sum of a number and 12. Again, there are the words, the sum of, right? So also up here, let's just take a look back here. We see the word of means to multiply. And remember that when I write something right next to these parentheses, that means that we are multiplying one half times x plus six or times the sum of x plus six. Same thing here, seven times the sum of a number in 12 means that we're going to have parentheses, x plus 12. So going from writing expressions to writing equations is very simple, and we did do a little bit of this at the beginning of the year. We're going to do a little bit more now. Six more than a number is 15. So we have more than, which means we're going to add, but it's also turnaround words. A number is x. So x plus 6 equals 15. The product of 4 and a number is 24. Now we know that a number, we always call that a variable. We usually use x. The product of 4 and x means 4 times x. And remember, you don't need parentheses or a dot or anything between them. When we sit them right next to each other, it means to multiply equals 24. Next, 12 more than half a number is 3 less than the number. Now this one's a little bit harder, so let's take a look at it. More than means plus, but it's also turnaround words. Half a number, we know that half a number is x, is 3 less than, we have more turnaround words, which means subtract, than the number. Okay, so we've got number here and number here, and we assume they're the same because it doesn't tell us that they aren't. So let's see what we need to do. So we have one half a number, one half times a number because of or a in this case is going to mean multiply, one half x plus 12. Remember we turned it around because of the turnaround words. Is means equals three less than the number. So we're turning around again, x minus three. So some of these are much harder than the ones we did earlier, at least this one, much harder than the ones we did earlier this year. 25 is four more than a number. So turn around words, but we know they mean add. 25 is four more than a number. So 25 is We've got to turn this around on this side of the equation, so x plus 4. And the last one, 13 less than a number is 4 more than a different number. Just think about it from left to right. So less than means subtract, but it also means turn around, so I'm going to circle it. A number is, we know, means equals 4 more than, some more turnaround words, but this time they mean add, a different number. So this time we have a number x, and this time it means a different number, so we'll call it y. So we have x minus 13 equals y plus 4. So once you've completed these notes, bring them back to class tomorrow. We'll go through a couple more examples, and then we will begin working on uh, writing some equations and then uh, solving them.